There's evidence that we learned to pickle in a salty brine or vinegar way back 4,500 years ago. I'm gonna be honest, once you learn how simple this is, it opens up so many possibities in the kitchen. Cleopatra claimed that a heavy pickled diet was to thank for her beauty. And Caesar, no, not the salad, ordered his troops to eat lots of pickled as it believed it gave them strength. Many sailors, including Christopher Columbus, whoever he was, used to look for things as well as they were easily stored, transported and kept preserved for months at sea. You can literally pickle anything using the exact same method of what I'm about to show you. Pickling can help preserve out of season food for months to be enjoyed all year round. We don't really have this problem anymore because most fresh food is available all year round in this interconnected world. So now we tend to use the pickling as a kind of flavour or texture all on its own. And it also pairs really well with whiskey. Okay, so first we need to start with talking about vinegars. And there are a million different vinegars out there. But here are four of the most common. Classic white vinegar, apple cider vinegar, white wine vinegar, and rice vinegar. But for the recipes today, I'm just gonna be using white vinegar and rice vinegar. So for the first one, I'm gonna be using 80% to 20% vinegar to water ratio. So I measured out 432 grams of rice wine vinegar, 108 grams of water. Then we are gonna add 2% salt. So I multiplied 432 plus 108 times 0.02 to get 10.8 grams. Give it a little stir with a small whisk and then take it to the hob to heat through to a gentle simmer. Then we're gonna do similar with white vinegar, but we are making way more. So just follow the general formula of 80% vinegar, 20% water, times by 0.02 equals the amount of salt. And for this one, we're also gonna add an equal amount of sugar as well, as I feel the white vinegar can just be a little bit sharp. Then just bring it up to a gentle simmer as well. Now, for the multiple types of veg that you can use to pickle, and literally, you can pickle anything you want. There are no rules and the combinations are limitless. So make sure to clean your jars well, but as we're filling these with vinegar, it doesn't have to be sterilized. Let's start with a classic one, the one and only pickle. You can cut or slice your cucumbers any way you like, or if you have a big enough jar, just chuck them in whole. But I sliced them down to a good sized batons and just proceeded to fill up my jar as tightly as possible. Then I sprinkled in some mustard seeds, black pepper, and a few bay leaves. Topped it with the rice wine vinegar mix. It's up to you which vinegar you like. I really like the sweetness it gives to the cucumbers in this recipe. Then you need to leave the top open until it has cooled. Then you can shut it, place it in the fridge, and let the vinegar do its magic. Then it's the exact same procedure with another classic, the red onion. So I just sliced them down nice and fine, filled up a jar, and this time threw in some cloves and black pepper. And same as before, wait till it's cool, then shut it and get it in the fridge. Next we're gonna do a spicy combination with some whole garlic cloves, chunky diced white onion, peeled and washed baby carrots, and a sliced jalapeno. You'd be surprised how much that jalapeno actually spices the vinegar, it's incredible. But I wanted this one all nice and mixed up, so I threw it in a bowl, give it a good mix, and then put it back in the jar again, topped it up with the vinegar, placed it in the fridge. Now next I tried to be clever and use slightly unripened mangoes, but don't do this, just, just use ripe mangoes. No. I'll explain later. But same again, fill your jar with fruit, throw in your choice of spice. In this case, I just went with some black pepper, close it off, and when cool, get it in the fridge. Then for our final pickle, in a jar, place some parsley, a jalapeno, and topped it with some hard boiled eggs, bay leaves, coriander seeds, again some black pepper, it's awesome, and a touch of paprika. This will flavour and colour the eggs all nice and funky. And last time, cool it, close it, fridge it. The great thing about pickling is they are ready even in an hour after making them, or keep them in the fridge for a slow and steady pickle, if you can resist. I have to admit, I did have a little snack on them within the 10 days, but here's what they all look like after 10 days. And you can see they have all slightly changed appearance. My favorite was classic cucumber, but they were all pretty good, except the mango. I had effectively just preserved unripened mangoes and they still, 10 days later, taste of unripened mangoes, but with a kick. I will use ripe fruit next time. But there you have it, veg that will last in the fridge for years and a great technique to know in the kitchen. Let me know what combinations you come up with in the comments and hit that like button, subscribe if you aren't already, do all that stuff and remember to just keep cooking.